Welcome everyone. Today we're in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where we'll be touring Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the University of North Carolina football team, which is located on campus of the University of North Carolina, right in the heart of campus. The architect who designed this stadium later went on to design the stadium at the University of Georgia. The University of Georgia's famous hedges were inspired by the hedges from this stadium, which you can clearly see in this photo. Wait a minute, where'd they go? Uh, we can find out what happened to those hedges and much more as we, as we take the tour today. Don't forget to write in the comments section what you like about this stadium, and every photo you see today was taken by me. And with that, let's start the tour. The stadium currently has a capacity of 51,000 seats. It was opened way back in 1927. It's named after UNC alumni William Keenan Jr. and it was a memorial to his parents and that, that's where the name comes from. When the stadium originally opened, it was only a capacity of 24,000 seats and it had the, the lower bowl uh, seats on either sideline, which you can see here. And then there had temporarily temporary seating on the, the either end zone that could bring the capacity up to 40,000. The first major expansion the stadium had was in 1963, where they added the upper deck on either side, and you can see it here in this photo. In 1998, they expanded the stadium again, uh, adding seats to the end zone, which you can see in this photo, and this turned it into a horseshoe-shaped stadium. Since the early 90s, they've expanded or renovated this stadium six times. And during that time frame, the, the largest attendance ever at the stadium was 62,000, which is you know, quite a bit larger than what it is maxed out now. In 2011, they enclosed the stadium when they built the Loudermilk uh, Center, which you can see across the way. It has what they called the, the blue zone in it. And at that point, it brought the capacity up to 63,000 seats. This photo is just giving a close-up look of that center. Uh, I think it's a very clean look and you know gives a lot of character to the stadium, so I really like it. This is just showing as you walk around the concourse, kind of on the back side of that center, and kind of all the brick work, it matches the rest of campus. So just overall, a really nice looking center. This is a view from the parking lot, looking at the stadium uh, on the outside of that center. Uh, you can see where it says lacrosse right in the middle. So they use it for other sports as well. And then there's a tunnel kind of on the right side that leads into the, to the stadium out to the field that you can see. And this is just a view looking down that tunnel. The field is kind of at the end. It's kind of hard to see, but that's how you'd walk out onto the field. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I, I often show a tunnel. So nothing new here. This is showing where the, the tunnel comes out onto the field, where that little bush is. That, that's where you walk out. So and you can see the, the center again, kind of where we started a couple slides ago. In 2018, they did what I think really makes the stadium and really makes it a beautiful stadium. And that's they replaced the bleachers with these blue chair back seating. And, and when you go see it in person, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's something you definitely need to check out. You may have been thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, a couple of slides ago I saw you know, some bleacher seating, so I thought you said that they took all the, the bleachers out, and that's correct. For some reason on one side, the end zone, uh, they kept the bleachers. I'm not really sure why, but if you're in that, that end zone, you're going to be seating in the bleachers. But everywhere else, they have chair back seating, so kind of interesting. If there's anything bad to say about the stadium, I would say this photo kind of highlights that. You know, the the concourse where you're walking to get food and go in the restroom, walking around, it's it's not very attractive. It's just kind of boring concrete. You can't can't see the field. There's no TV screens or anything around. So that that part kind of sucks. So other than that, it's it's a great stadium, but this part seems like it could be improved. I mentioned in the intro that this uh, stadium had the same architect as the the Georgia's football stadium, which had the famous hedges. And for many years, this stadium actually did have hedges around it. What happened was in 2018, they came in and replaced the grass with artificial turf. And with that, the hedges would no longer survive. So they took those out as well. Uh, kind of unfortunate in my opinion, but I guess they, they thought it was the right thing to do. Every video I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium, kind of just showing that I was actually there. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And then I also have some highlight videos showing all the different stadiums I've been to. You can leave in the comments section what stadium you want me to do a video on next, and, and I'll get to work on that. And with that, take care.